Good evening and welcome to Music and Musings. Bishop Ariel Santos here, expressing our desire on behalf of the Church, Cathedral of the King, to be able to help you, guide you, us as well, as we prepare to have an encounter with the living God tomorrow, as we worship Him on the Lord's Day. Tomorrow is Trinity Sunday, the readings for which we will show you now, and then we will be right back with a short reflection. Trinity Sunday. You know, the Holy Trinity is a mystery. We will not pretend to be able to know uh, that mystery because it's way beyond our understanding. God is three in one. How is that? I don't know. We don't know, but we believe and we confess. We believe in our heart we confess with our mouth what we believe in our heart not necessarily what we understand in our mind you now this great theologian mathematician French uh, theologian mathematician scientist and what have you Blaise Pascal he said the heart has reasons of which reason does not know knows nothing because it's, there are things in life, many things, valuable things, like love, like women, uh, like, like many things that are of value that we, we, don't, we don't just appraise by the mind, like God is, like what love is, like, like relationships. You don't, sometimes you don't make you don't have the the mind operate and and rule over what the heart is saying because some things are not grasped by the the mind but by the spirit by the heart that's what saint paul says as well and that's what the trinity is about we can read about it about them we can we can try and, and you know go to school and learn about them have a degree in in theology and divinity and have masters and and uh, doctors degrees but really the Holy Spirit we know God in the Spirit and in the Trinity by having a relationship with him not just by reading about him not just by trying to learn mentally academically about him but walking in his name walking in his nature in love and modeling our lives according to the unity in trinity at the athanasian creed goes in this trinity none is a for or after other they like saint paul says give preference to one another in love that's what love is the opposite is self-centeredness. I want to be ahead. I want to be greater. No, no. We are made equal by God. And in the, the Trinity, in their love, who is a community of love, we pattern our lives as well after that. Also our community. That's why we have a church, because we're designed to be like God, who is a community. We cannot be like God if we're hermits and individualistic and autonomous. We need to learn to live and work with and love the people in our community in order for us to be like God, which is our very goal in life. That's the Holy Trinity, you know, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, each giving of themselves for the good of the other. And they, they have so much love for their community that it 
overflows, that it has to have a recipient. The reason God created us, He didn't have to, but the reason He created us is so that we can be recipients of the overflow of the love within the Trinity. But that, and it's not, you know, like earlier mentioned, Trinity is not a, a puzzle, a code that we're meant to decipher. No, no, the Trinity is a model for us to pattern our lives after. We walk in love because God is love. That's His nature. That's how we observe tomorrow's feast is, you know, pray that we would understand the Trinity not just in our minds, that's required as well, more so in our hearts. How? By living after the manner of the Trinity themselves. That's how we live. That's how we have fullness of life. Jesus great commission is that we baptize all nations in the name of the Father and Son Holy Spirit in the name of the Trinity it means it's not a formula it means in the manner of the Trinity and we don't just baptize like dunk in water but we immerse ourselves and them in the manner in the nature in the essence of the, un the unity and Trinity that's our calling that's the way it is in the kingdom of our God. Thank you once again for joining us tonight on Music and Musings. May you have a meaningful worship and encounter with the living God tomorrow on His day. God bless you. We'll see you again next week.